Welcome to the Diota Resource Library and thanks for watching how Diota can help you enable rapid data ingestion, processing, and provisioning of your data with multiple platform data architectures. Unlike other ETL tools, Diota was built for the modern data architectures where data can be processed natively in the most optimized fashion. Diota also scales in all dimensions with its agent-based architecture and optimizes the data movement across several data points in a seamless and efficient manner. This makes Diota Hadoop ready, Spark ready, and Cloud ready. This video will familiarize you with the fundamentals of data ingestion from the external relational database into Hadoop using Diota. We will be using Oracle as the external database for the demonstration. Let's get started and review the detailed steps involved in this process. We can load data from any standard relational database, such as Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, and others. For a complete list of standard connectors, visit our website, diota.com forward slash integration. In order to load data from Oracle to Hadoop, we need to define the data points for both the data platforms first. For this demonstration, the data points have already been created. This is the Oracle data point. We can define the properties for a data point such as host, port number, and credentials. Once we save and test the data point, we can specify the schema for where we want to extract data. We can also review the extract and load properties here. Similarly, we create a Hadoop data point. Hadoop is part of a big data ecosystem. We will need to provide additional details. We will specify the fields under Properties, Runtime Properties, Settings, and define the database. Next, Let's define the metadata definition of the data objects that we need to ingest from the source database. For this, we can either create the object manually or import it directly from the data point that we created in the previous step. In this example, I'm going to follow the best practice, which is to import the data objects from the Oracle data point. Select the Oracle database. The import data object wizard quickly takes us through the connection details. Click Next. Here we can view the list of data objects. Diota provides a wildcard search to quickly search for a data object. For example, let's import the customer data object. Let's save the data object. Now that we've imported the data object, we're ready to use it in our data flow, which we will review in the next step. Data flow is where we define the extract, load and transform rules in Diota. Since we're performing a simple data ingestion, we will focus on the extract and load portion of the data flow. We can also generate a planned data ingestion data flow by using the data movement wizard. Additionally, users can create the pipelines manually. In this example, we will build the pipeline manually. Let's start by creating a new data flow. Select Hadoop as the native database. Drag the Oracle source from Sources. We will select the Oracle data object that we imported in the previous step. Next, we need to link the source to the target object. Select the Hadoop data point that we created initially for target. Let's save the data flow design. The data flow is now ready to be executed. Let's run the data flow. Click on the View Execution Status. This takes us to the Monitor module where we can view the execution status of the data flow. Select the data flow and view the operational statistics, review logs, and history of the data flow. In order to view and verify the data in the target database, let's go back to the studio. Open the data flow. Select the target object and toggle View Data button on the top to enable View Data feature for the objects in the data flow. This feature helps to view the data live at any stage within the data flow. As we can see, we have loaded the data into the target table with little or no Hadoop expertise. To orchestrate this data flow as a job, we can create this as a job flow, add parameters, and define dependencies on other jobs. 
We can also orchestrate via File Watcher or time-based triggers and schedule job flows via Diota Scheduler or any external available scheduler. This concludes the short tutorial on data ingestion into a Hadoop data lake using Diota. Thanks for watching. Visit support.diota.com for additional knowledge base articles and tutorials.